All right, I'm trying to get a better understanding of uh, the way the onboard microcontroller on this Nokia FYGM communicates with the Ublox LE8 or LEA M8T uh, GPS receiver. Um, so what I've done is I've connected my logic analyzer to um, three pins on the board. Uh, one is just power, so we can know exactly when um, the, especially the LEA M8T has booted up or has received power, um, but also that'll tell us when the, the rest of the system has started up. Uh, and then channel zero here is the UART data coming out of the 8051. And then uh, channel one is the UART data coming out of um, the M8T. So you can see after receiving power, the M8T sent its first burst of data after almost half a second, um, whereas it took the uh, 8051 about two seconds to send its first. And if we look, you can see this first data burst from the M8T isn't huge, but this specifically in hex that starts with B5620135081. Um, so that's a pattern that recurs. So if we look at the first burst of data, um, this is actually, it, it's going to fail to automatically look this up because it actually sends this first bit burst of data at 9600 baud, whereas these bursts of data are sent at uh, 115, or yeah, 115200. So its first burst of data is at 9600. And then after a few bursts, so after these three, it sends another, let's see how much longer, how much later is that? It's about three seconds later. And this is at, um, at 115200. But again, it sends B5, 62, and then this time it's 0A, 04, 00000E, 34. Um, so I'm assuming that's some sort of initialization message that it's sending, I, and I'm assuming it's just in the Ublox binary protocol. I, I really don't know yet. Um, but what happens is the the MAT responds with just a ton of stuff. But again, it starts B5, 62, and then this time it gives 0A, 0, 04. So that's the same. Um, first few bytes that uh, this initialization message that was sent at the right baud rate contained. Um, and then there's just a lot of back and forth, but everything starts with B562. Um, I think they all start with 06, but these three bytes are what they all start with. Um, but as you can see over the next, you know, few milliseconds, that's just this like constant back and forth. Um, which I assume, I haven't gone through and decoded all these, obviously, but I'm assuming that this is setting a parameter, confirming the parameter, because um, that's how this, it, you know, it's, it does acts and acts for acknowledged and not acknowledged. So I'm assuming this is setting a parameter coming from the MCU, and then this is uh, accepting it, um, because there's no battery backup on this thing. So every time it boots up, the MCU has to reinitialize um, so basically what I'm trying to figure out is, uh, you know, I could hold the reset pin low on the MCU and I can prevent it from sending any of these. And basically what will happen is the MAT will just send this data string over and over and over. And there's not really much data in it. And I, I haven't had much luck decoding it with uCenter. Um, uh, but... When I use the Saley Logic Analyzer to um, to auto bot it, it gets close to one one five two hundred. It gets like you know twelve or one hundred twenty thousand or something like that. But then if I manually key it into one one five two hundred, um, it just nails it, and every single one of these is decoded properly. So yeah, lots of back and forth, um, and then I'm assuming that this is where the back and forth ends. These these three right here. Um, and then this would be the first um, post configuration pulse out of uh, out of the M8T. Um, and then if we 
you know, look at these, these are spaced about a second apart. And when you account for the length of this burst of data, they're sent more or less exactly a second apart, um, which holds up, that's what you'd expect. So yeah, the, the next step is to figure out exactly, um, not this one, sorry. That's the one at 9600 baud, what this one is doing. Um, and what's interesting is if you go back to this one, this at 9600 baud, and we change the bit rate, You can see it's still sending the same one. It's still sending this B56206. So it's trying to do the same thing. It's just doing it at a slower bit rate. So this MCU is smart enough to know, um, like, oh, hey, this thing, the M8T is already running at 115200. Well, let me just cut on over to 115200 and see what happens. So, <clears throat> yeah, that's pretty interesting. Don't really know what to make of it just yet.